rooms of the Andito di Angiolini at the Pitti Palace is a dedicated contemporary art space that has just opened its doors to Tesfaye Gessa with his exhibition, Beyond. Six rooms in chronological order host canvases that, despite the artist's acquisition of a large studio, are mostly worked on the floor, just like when Tesfaye Gessa first arrived in Germany in 2009 as a student at the Staatliche Academy in Stuttgart. The smell of oils and paints hangs in the air as some pieces were completed just weeks before the exhibition was to open. On show are 35 works by Ojessa, who, born in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and now living and working in Germany, brings his largest body of work to Italy for the first time. After arriving in Europe, he became fascinated by the rituals, phobias, and culture of solitude to be found in the Western world. Such themes run deeply through his large canvases, with confident, three-dimensional brushstrokes forming architectural compositions of body and flesh. The themes in my paintings are, are not uh, exactly defined, because uh, uh, the way I paint uh, is not like that. Uh, which means, um, every time when I go to my studio, I have a kind of uh, figure or image in my head, and then I try to let it out. This is a process, and the process by itself is very spontaneous, and um, there is no preparation. It's a kind of a conversation with a friend, so which means, uh, you know, uh, I, I meet my canvas and then I start to kind of talk, you know, what I was probably uh, have listened yesterday or t uh, told about or, or, you know, anything that, that come to my mind. Entangled and sometimes deformed, the bodies create a dialogue between the viewer, the artist and themselves. This conversational triangle is typical of Ajessa's work and exemplifies the artist's own identification with his figures, so much so that while painting, he often adopts their positions. Contrasted with everyday objects, the banal and the fantastical meet, offering a mirror on Western society and human nature. Tisfaye Ajessa's works are especially uh, interesting um, in as much they often uh, take cues from traditional iconographies but then they reinterpret them in a total, totally personal uh, way. The same is true for the uh, color schemes, which work really wonderfully well in the uh, spaces of the, Andoti, uh, of the Andito uh, degli Angiolini. The exhibition is in the Andito degli Angiolini rooms in the Pitti Palace until the 3rd of February 2019.